On the news tonight, Lagos residents urge governor-elect to build on his predecessor's achievements. Good evening and welcome to NTA Lagos Charity News. I am Victoria Labody. It was celebration galore at the Lagos office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, following the declaration of the All Progressives Congress, APC candidate, Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, as the winner of the Saturday's Lagos State Governorship election. Iyabo Waleri completes the story. <laughs> the results, the returning officer for Lagos State Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Ehitokwe Ogungbo Dede, who is also the Vice Chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University, said the governor-elect, having met all the required conditions at the polls, was declared winner of the election. Babajide Olusola Sawolu of All Progressives Congress, APC. I will satisfy the requirements of the law and score the highest number of votes. We shall by declare the winner and is returned elected. The returning officer who scrutinized all the results as presented by the coalition officers from the 20 local government areas in the state inquired from party representatives present if they were satisfied with the process before they all signed the results sheet. Party agent for APC Demola Seriki was later presented with the results of the election by the returning officer. In Lagos, Iyabo Wale Eri, NTA News. Residents of Lagos have appealed to the governor-elect of the state, Babajide Sonwolu, to build on the achievements and successes of his predecessors to ensure a better Lagos. Adalbi Obechina tells us more. Following the just concluded gubernatorial election and the pronouncement of Abajide Sonwolu of the All Progressives Congress candidate by the Independent National Electoral Commission as the winner in Lagos State, residents of the expectation that the newly elected governor will project continuity in line with the APC's vision of building a better Lagos. And three, if, you, know, you get what I'm saying? So you expect that he will fulfill his promises. You expect Lagos to be taken to the next level. You're also going to expect a lot of good governance from him and his deputy governor. It's something I don't expect them to stop their crusade against their corruption. I don't expect them to stop. Because I've said it many times, we cannot eradicate, eradicate corruption completely, but we need to minimize it such that those who go to government go there to serve. Other respondents called on the governor elect to look into the areas of education, roads, and health care as it would improve the economy of the states. What we expect is to continue to go the way APC uh, are going. It should improve on our infrastructural development, it should continue to increase educational development and the empowerment of our youths and the women folks. It's their generation, and one would have expected that it should shape their generation to determine who. But for those of them who came out... Babadide Sonwolu was a one-time commissioner for establishment, training and pension. He was the managing director, Lagos State Development and Property Commission. He was declared the winner with 739,445 votes defeated his closest rival, Jimmy Agbaji, of the People's Democratic Party, who scored 266,141 votes. In Lagos, Adobe Obiechina, NTA News. Residents of Lagos have expressed their gratitude to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for its efforts towards ensuring a success of the just-concluded elections. Correspondent Mary Jane Uwaze reports that the residents urge INEC to continue in its improvement so that the next election will turn out better. Her report. Assessing the 2019 general election, Lagos residents are of the opinion that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has performed above average 
adding that the Commission, no doubt, has put the country's democracy on solid foundation once again. The security agencies were not left out of the whole exercise as their uprightness and dedication to the unity of the country did not go unnoticed. However, they noted some irregularities during the election. In the gas election, I feel uh, everything was properly conducted. But other places, I don't know what is going on. But here, there is a free and fair election which we voted for. Everybody voted for whoever is want to vote for. There was much difficult for people to vote. The carry that was given problems. They, however, urged the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to study the challenges in 2019 election carefully so as to improve on future elections. We are developing, updating ourselves, look at our lapses at the previous election and modernize on it to put things right. But at this point we are talking about, we are not there yet. You talk about the card reader now, a situation whereby you get to the polling unit, the card reader couldn't see uh, internet, you understand. Some, the card reader couldn't even acknowledge your thumbprint, you understand. And in some cases, the card reader couldn't even function at all. What they need to do is, they should have persons who will train their ad hoc staff properly, for the business to those who will monitor the process. The 2019 general election has finally come to an end. However, in some areas, elections have been declared inconclusive. In Lagos, Mary Jane Weze, NTA News. NTA Lagos, Channel we continue with more news after this time out. Please stay with us. Hate speech is not a joke. It incites genocide and crimes against humanity. Most of Africa's civil wars are caused by hate speech from one tribe against another. We don't want it here. The Nigerian government stands firm against hate speech. I was distressed to notice that some of the comments, especially in the social media, have crossed our national red lines by daring to question our collective existence as a nation. This is a step too far. One nation bound in freedom. Peace and unity. Nigeria, one nation, one people. This is a public service announcement brought to you by NTA. Thank you for staying with us. Recently, Nigeria joined the rest of the world to celebrate the International Day of Women. Marking the day, Lagos residents were urged to report incidents of domestic violence immediately they occur in the state. Details in this report. International Women's Day is celebrated on March 8th every year. After women gained suffrage in Soviet Russia in 1917, March 8th became a national holiday there. The day was then predominantly celebrated by the socialist movement and communist countries until it was adopted in 1975 by the United Nations. Domestic violence in Nigeria takes many forms, including physical, sexual, emotional and mental. Traditional domestic violence is committed against females. Common forms of violence against women in Nigeria are rape, acid attacks, molestation, wife beating and corporal punishments. Cross sections of residents interviewed urged Nigerians to see this day as a day to reflect on the plight of victims of domestic and sexual violence, whom are mostly females. Um, gender, in, gender equality encompasses a lot of aspects, including in leadership. It is important that men and women have an equal say in the decision-making uh, processes and in leadership. Domestic violence and rape is, is a criminal offense. It's really unfortunate. But I think we women need to stand up for one another as a start. We should have support groups. We should really train our daughters to be financially independent so you don't feel that you're part of the furniture when it comes to a man. Empowerment is key to stopping domestic violence. Once women are empowered, um, they can speak for themselves, they can cater for themselves, and in turn, stop domestic violence and um, gender equality can be achieved. Lagos and Ogun Zonal Police Public Relations Officer 
Dolakpo Badmos enjoined victims of domestic and sexual violence to get help immediately. The women out there should reject uh, domestic and sexual violence. It's against the law of nature and it's against the law of humanity. And we should rise together as, you know, as folks to ensure that this ends. Uh, we, the Nigerian police force at our end, we are doing all we can to make sure that within Lagos it comes to an end. She added that the Nigerian police force would ensure justice and stem the rampant cases of the menace in the society. In Lagos, Usa, Usula, NTA News. That report ends the news. Thank you for watching and choosing NTA Lagos Channel 10. Balaji Akim is standing by for the Yoruba translation of the news. Babatunde Abiodun has been the man for the sign language. I am Victoria Olabodi. Good evening.